So there was one man I spoke to who was in his 60s, um, had high blood pressure and he's on statins. Um, and he had heard that cinnamon in his tea could replace the statins. So he had been having sort of regular checkups and the GP always goes, oh, uh, your, your blood pressure's under control. It's fine, it's fine. And then suddenly he drops the statins, starts the cinnamon tea, goes to his next checkup, and his blood pressure has gone way up. Um, and he tries to tell the GP, um, no, I've still been taking my statins. And she's like, you haven't been taking your statins or your blood pressure wouldn't be here. And he's like, mm, maybe I forget sometimes, but usually I take it. And she said, no, you haven't been taking it at all. Um, and eventually he concedes, yeah, I haven't been taking it. I'll start again, I'm sorry. Um, and what really struck me was this is hilarious, but also it's it's such a good um, insight into how people use Ayurveda. And there's so much shame and fear and misinformation around people's medical choices, which means that someone hears something, they don't have any reliable evidence that say cinnamon in your tea can make a difference to high blood pressure. And so that's one issue. And then the other issue there is someone doesn't feel comfortable talking to their medical professional about what they're doing with their health. There's so much stigma around alternative medicine and ancient Indian medicine and Ayurveda. Um, in the UK, there's so much um, discourse around it's ineffective, it's sort of junk science, it doesn't work and stuff. And that all comes from a misunderstanding of Ayurveda. But also it's really concerning because so many people are using Ayurvedic practices in their everyday lives. And if they can't talk about that, then their health is at risk. So um, that was just one story. There are a few others as well that I thought were um, quite exciting, quite interesting.